did Holden get past your officers into the property room in the first place? That's what I'd like to know. No, you don't trust me on that. Look, the bottom line is, Tom, that Holden went back, he listened to the tape of Lily's Wire, he heard two gunshots, Tom, two. So he says. Look, Hal, I know you. Don't you find it incredibly convenient that Holden is the only other person that heard this alleged second shot? More convenient, an unknown assailant wraps him on the head, steals his tape, thereby making it impossible for us to prove or disprove anything he might choose to say. That's why I think he's telling the truth. It's too far-fetched. I mean, who could make up a story like that? Well, maybe a guy who was still so in love with Lily that he would say he fired the gun to take the rap for her. He's got a real nasty bump on oh. the back of his head, Tom. I don't think that he did that by himself. Besides, we know that there was another gun at the scene that night, a gun that could have fired a second shot. Margot's gun, Tom. We do not know that that is where she lost that gun. It could have happened no, anywhere. she is sure that she lost it at the church. Sure. She's sure because of some dream she had that told her so? Tom, all I'm saying is that I just want to pursue a second shot theory. Put a couple of extra men on it, see if they can't locate the tapes, go back, re-interview all the wedding guests. Fine. Pursue it. Do what you want. It's gonna be a wild goose chase. I'm gonna need some time to do it right. Uh-oh. I want you to postpone the no, trial, I'm not Tom. Doing oh, that. come on! Please. What am I gonna do please if I can't... Please keep your voice down, please. Margaret's asleep right upstairs. First, Margot's gun is missing. And now we've got somebody saying they heard a noise which could have been a second shot. Or so, it could have been a backfire from a car. Or it could have been a clap of thunder, yes or no. Yes, Therefore, but I think... The second shot theory is that. It's a theory. It's conjecture from an unreliable witness with no corroborating statements, no evidence to back it up, yes or no. Yes, Guess what? Guess what? Guess again, what? Hearsay. Hearsay. Well, that's what Alan said. He thought it was hearsay, but I... David Allen knows about this? Yeah, he was there yesterday when Holden came into the oh. station. He almost charged him right on the spot. Well, that's what you should have done. Well, he did fit Holden in a slammer for the night. I think that gave Holden the message. Tom, even if Holden's theory is hearsay, Jessica is a good enough lawyer to know that if she can get even a part of it into the trial, you have got a mother load of reasonable doubt right there. This case is turning into one colossal mess. I guess you're aware of that. Yeah, well, don't look at me. I'm just the messenger, so... Can you postpone the trial? Yeah, go ahead and start your investigation. Find out anything you can. If you can back up anything that Holden says, I will consider a postponement, but not before. And I don't want Margot to know anything about this. Uh, it's too late. I told her this afternoon. Well, thank you, my friend. Hey, thank you. Keep your voice down. She's sleeping upstairs. Do you have any idea how shaky she is right now? Tom, do you think I would do anything to jeopardize Margot's emotional state? So how did she react when you told her? Fine. She's a pro, Tom. She knows I'm just doing my job. We all are. Even that jerk, David Allen. Turn around. Face the wall. Move it, or I pull the trigger. All right, all right. Well, who are you and what do you want? I have information. About what? The Santana murder. You're off track with Lily Grimaldi. She didn't do it. How do you know? Don't move. Okay. Keep your back to me. Okay, okay, just be cool. Well, talk to me. Come on. 
if, if you've got reason to suspect someone else, then just give me a name so I can pursue it. That's all I have to say. You really should repaint the number on your mailbox, man. I had a hell of a time finding this place. Well, I'm not very busy these days, so I'll do that right when you leave. Come on in. Somebody broke into my apartment tonight, man. They came in through the window, woke me up, made some bizarre statement about the Santana case, about how we're barking up the wrong tree. Then they climbed out again and took off. I went outside after them. By the time I got out there, they were long gone. Any idea who it was? No, but I'm sure it's someone from Lucinda Walsh's camp. I mean... Who else would go to such lengths to convince us there might be another viable suspect out there? Well, I don't know. Have you, uh, heard anything lately that might support such a theory? You mean this business with Holden Snyder? The mysterious alleged second shot? Who told you, Munson? I kind of thought you would tell me. Did I miss something, Tom? I thought this was my case now. So what? You run any and all major developments through me. Snyder's desperate claims are hardly a major development. It's more of an annoying distraction. I would have talked to you about it the next time we discussed the case. I just didn't see any reason to do it sooner. If I'm wrong about that. I apologize. Okay. So about this mysterious intruder. <sighs> Give Hal a statement. Maybe they'll find your guy. But the way this case has gone, I wouldn't hold my breath. Well, what about the press? The press? Well, if they get wind of this, then you corroborate. Otherwise, just let it be. We have enough of a media circus out there as it is. Couldn't agree more. Uh, listen, while you're here, I looked over your motion in the Haggerty assault. Uh, it's in my study. Listen, it, this, the approach is sound. I think you're heading the right way. But I don't believe that I would use Adams versus Locaine as a precedent. file the motion tomorrow. Uh, David, listen, uh, about the Santana case, I think I might ask you to get a postponement. Tom, I don't mean any disrespect here, but I can't believe you're giving Snyder's story so much credence. Well, I don't mean any disrespect either, David, but I'm not the one that got the charge pumped up to murder one. You're in a brand new ball game now, my friend. Your case is gonna have to be airtight to win, and all you have right now are loose ends. So you find me the missing tapes, or you find me the guy that broke into your apartment, and then maybe we'll have something. Somebody broke into your apartment? Hey, sweetie, what are you doing up? Huh? I just had this really strange dream. Yeah, what about? Something beats me. It's very weird, but did you get a good look at this guy? Uh, detective, detective, um, you are under suspension, so any law enforcement-related matters are strictly off limits. I'm just asking. Just one you. civilian to heard the you. other. <laughs> I'm about to make myself some tea. Would you like some? Thanks. No, I gotta get going. Okay. You can make your own. Okay. No, Tom. What? If Munson discovers there was a second shot, everyone at the wedding's gonna be a suspect. So? Everyone, including your wife. I'm aware, David. We will cross that bridge when we get to it. But right now, we are just searching for the truth, right? Absolutely. Still thinking about that nightmare, aren't you, honey? Well, Tom, I'm just trying to come up with some details, but instead I just have this vague, uneasy feeling. But I tell you, I know what kicked it in. You know what? Well, and Hal came to visit today. Yeah. I saw something in that coat closet that really bothered me. Well, what? A gun. No, it was a play gun. It's a toy. Sorry. But I bet you Adam brought it in. <laughs> well, you had me go on there for a second. And you know, it really ticks me off because he knows the rule. No playing with toy guns of any variety. And you know what else? I know where he got it. Okay, slow down. 
You don't know that it was Adam. It could have just as easily been Casey. You no, know it was Adam because, you know, he went to Billy McCann's birthday party on Saturday, right? Uh -huh. And June McCann is so strange, and she's always giving the kids these weird birthday party favors, and it was so much like a real gun, Tom. I mean, it had the heft of a real gun, and I just... When I saw it in that closet, it scared the you-know-what out of me. I said, June McCann, I mean... Why does she give kids something like that to play with? Even somebody else's kids. That's what I want to know. Well, a lot of people don't think these realistic-looking guns are a problem, honey. Well, they're wrong. And in some cases, they're dead wrong. And I'm going to ask Adam about it tomorrow. And if I find out that it was from June McCann, then I'm going to give her a piece of my mind. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm assuming you mean a courteous and tactful piece of your mind? Absolutely, of course. Good. Where's the gun? Oh, I threw it in the trash. Good. Exactly where it belongs. Mm, okay, I'm gonna take this stuff out of here. No, no, leave it, leave it, leave it. I got something I want to tell you. Man, you won't even let me do simple housework. You are so mean to me. I know. What? Do you know how proud I am of you? Really? Yeah. So tell me, which are you most proud of? My losing my gun or my losing my mind? None of that that happened was your fault. Did you cause that plane crash? No. No. Diego did. Yeah, he did. And that set all the rest of this stuff in motion. Now, you've been through a hell of an ordeal, honey. But you're rising above this. You took a big hit, but you're gonna make it. I mean, since you got back from the hospital, you've already made incredible strides, so that's what you need to focus on. You just keep looking forward, not backwards, no matter what happens. Why, what's gonna happen? Nothing. Nothing's gonna happen. I just want you to feel good about how well you are, okay? That's all. Baby, I'm sorry I've made these last few months miserable for you, haven't I? No, you didn't do anything. They were just circumstances, and the worst of it is over. I just want to get back to my own life. It's back to our life. Together. As a family. That's what we're doing. Yeah. And we're well on our way. Don't you think? Mm-hmm. What's that? What? A cut on the back of your hand. What is that? I don't know. Must be some nasty house cleaning accident. I don't know how I got it. Ramirez, look. Well, get me Ramirez. Ramirez, about the Santana case. I want you to put a tail on somebody. Margot Hughes.